Lost. What is Ant Design? <laughs> design. And, so Ant Design is a, is a is a UI library. It's a UI. Is library. it just naming or there is a like, they, they have components. They have yeah. React components, yeah. tables, sliders, uh, navigation bar. Still exists. It is still yeah, it's big. I still use it today. Ah, uh, nice. It's, it's for enterprise dashboards and What about the Redux uh, saga? So, uh, Redux saga is basically a way of uh, it's a, it's a, it's a package for uh, dispatching uh, async uh, asynchronous actions in your application. Mm-hmm. Really maintaining things which you like API calls mm. and getting that data to your application. Mm. Um, but uh, people don't use sagas anymore. Yeah. Uh, There are better options. Well, people, React has grown now. Yeah. Back then, we did not have context API. Yeah. Right now, you can just do your state management in React. Yeah. Context API, use yeah. the user. Mm. If your application grows a little bit more, you can pick up uh, Redux. Mm. We have many other state management man- managers right now mm. in React. It's not all about Redux anymore. Yeah. Uh, we also have solutions where you, you you can also survive without using state managers. Mm. Like things like a Re- a React Query mm. works out of the box. Mm. So back then we did not have these things. Mm. So there was a lot of um, uh, boilerplate work, boilerplate, boilerplate, boilerplate code to write to be able to support some of these things. Right now yeah. things are quite easier. Yeah. And why uh, choose uh, AWS? Uh, so. This? We were deploying the application on free tires mm. for for Netlify and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But now the company is growing, the platform is growing, mm. and we need to be able to support to, to scale mm. and also to deploy to um, other uh, other regions. As, as you can see, Nyegenyege is a it's an event which most people from Europe would want to buy tickets for. Mm. So we want to be able to deploy to Edge things like that. So yeah. we decided to go with AWS. Mm. Um, of course, we had. Uh, We had a DevOps guy we hired mm. uh, to help us figure out the costing. Yeah, uh, how we can we can cut cost in the place. You know, the place can get expensive. Yeah, right? and then scale. Mm. It's good in scale, but if you don't know how to configure yeah. it, it can really get uh, super expensive really yeah. fast. I've seen people say that they are they had a toy project which yeah. is costing around hundred thousand <laughs> shillings right now, Sit, <laughs> sitting as debt in uh, on AWS. So yes, that guy was taking care of those things. Yeah, uh, mine was just what. Come up with the uh, deployment pipelines and yeah. workflows. Yeah. You take care of the yeah, infra, yeah. the infra thing. Yeah, uh, that was interesting because um, towards um, my time of exit at MOOC, mm. the project was so big. Mm. We even supported eBooks mm. and music streaming. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they diversified from the event ticket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they, uh, uh, later on they did cut down all those things and. Just ticketing. focus. Yeah, ticketing is big yeah. if you think about it because it's just events and, yeah. and all that. There's so much that you could do with the event ticketing yeah. as a platform. So they figured out that they would be better off just running tickets. Mm. Not so many people are willing to buy books. Mm. Because you know, people mm. would rather download free books yeah. Yeah. Than, uh, than buy. Than buy yeah. People would listen to music on Spotify than MOOC. True, true. There's no background uh, playing on a web app. Yeah, yeah. We did not have a mobile app for yeah. that. So... Yeah. Do not make a lot of business sense, mm. so they stop doing that. Tear mm. down the application. Mm. They got an, a, a better DevOps engineer mm-hmm. from um, who was working for company in South Africa. Mm. It set up a nice infrastructure. Mm. And yes, we did have Kubernetes now. At, uh, we had uh, Dockerize most of our applications. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy had written lots of uh, Jenkins pipelines to the deployments. So mm-hmm. we had moved from manual deployments at MOOC yeah. uh, before I exited. Yeah, but then COVID happens. Yeah, so this is 2020. Yes, 2019, 2020. 2019. So 2019, and then like approaches me, mm. uh, do the interviews. Mm. It was one of the interview process which I did not uh, have many opinions about. Mm. Um, the last bit was did not check up with me. Mm. The person was supposed to interview me or the senior engineer. Mm. Last two minutes of the interview say that they don't see five years, four years experience in my CV, so they cancel the interview. Mm. Essentially, I'm doomed after doing like four rounds of interview mm. in the final lap. Mm. This person feels so entitled; they don't want to interview you. Mm. So, so they were interviewing the experience, not the person. Yes. So I talked to the to my recruiter, told, told him, you know what, bro, I have these years experience. I can send you another CV. Uh. I sent him another CV. Took talk to a guy in Uganda called Samson. Uh. That that guy saved my. Career for Andela. Yeah. Uh, this the reason that's why I go, I go to Andela. Okay. He interviewed me. Yeah. This guy now. Yeah. He took he interviewed me. Mm-hmm. He saw that I'm a senior engineer and he recommended me and I joined Andela. Mm. In, in around June 2019. As a senior engineer. Yes. Good package. 
ah bro mm. then that was the eight thing bro you mm. given a macbook mm. you have uber if you are working for a company mm. there's dojo but you joined when they were moving to the road yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah they had moved to the road yeah. so they had a nice cafe cafeteria yeah. there yeah. they had a nice office so it's a whole campus so like basically yeah. and dela was eight company yeah. still is yeah. in different uh, uh, levels right now yeah. but working for andela that time mm. was was the best thing we could can do yeah. you met very se- senior engineers there mm. Eugene Mutai was uh, just exited andela mm. we had other guys join uh, andela too mm. um it was it was good being an andela yeah, yeah. yeah we we got to have Eugene uh, that's it uh, one day you should bring Eugene yeah. is uh, <laughs> no a solid guy <laughs> the- <laughs> So you did know whatever if we are about this uh you know where we have come from maybe it's not my my part to tell this story <laughs> is you did story hey, for he's... some reason we cross path <laughs> oh, yeah. and maybe when he sits there you'll you'll tell his story yeah. so uh but basically Andela was really great and and and, and if I can remember well um since I've been the 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 developer you know ecosystem for some time most of the guys there i knew them personally yeah. and, and 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 professionally mm. uh even when they started you know everything mm. and, and and things are metamorphosized metamorphosized yeah. properly in the tech ecosystem yeah. to where we are right now yeah, um yeah. which is good so but even then you 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 are software consultant at mumo systems yeah yeah so uh, i i i i You introduced me to Mumo, yeah. uh, Mumo Systems, yeah. and recently Mumo himself. Yeah. Um, he, he he was he wanted to build a checkout mm. uh, platform for Jira, mm. and uh, I back then uh, I, I was so deep into Atlassian development. Mm. So we said we started building this thing for actually he's, he's still using my code. Yeah. yeah. The platform is still using my code. Yeah. Did consultancy for him for four months. We mm. built a checkout platform for him. Yeah. Uh, working for Mumo was quite different because I'm now working for for a tool which is integrating directly to an Atlassian product. Yeah. Um so there were so many so so many moving parts. The backend is in Java. Mm-hmm. I have no experience in Java mm-hmm. with Java. Yeah. The deployment is quite different. Yeah. Like you cannot just go and deploy the way you deploy to AWS. <laughs> yeah. So I had to figure out how to bundle the assets for mm-hmm. this for this project to be able to work. How to figure out routing. Mm-hmm. You know most um, uh, client side uh, rendered react apps uses a router mm. uh, then refile is just one mm. but jira expects you to have different files for for every, for every page mm. so figure out how to take care of routing for this project is quite it was quite interesting mm. i got to use the atlassian ui library yeah. which is quite solid looks quite, quite neat yeah and that was good we parted ways with, with mumo um, mumo systems uh, yeah quite uh, with no issues Yeah. Um then then I I got lucky. Uh I got to work for a company for Andela now. Ah. I got a placement for a company in Andela now. Yeah. Yeah. And this Mumo system you used to work remotely. Yeah, this was remote work. This was first experience remotely. This was my this was my Mumo had moved to a remote kind of thing so I did some experience working remotely okay. for Mumo Africa. Yeah. But now Mumo was 100% remote paid by the hour. Yeah. That was the first experience. Yeah. Paid by the hour. Yeah. Uh clear deliverables yes. clear outline of work like there was no bullshit working with momo yeah pick work mm. set up expectation mm. look at the work yeah. deliver yeah. get paid yeah. yeah that's it nice uh, nice do you think that. that actually changed the way yeah you viewed <laughs> the previous experiences i i got to see the value for money mm. like you would want to go to work more to get more money yeah true true and uh, and I, I would say this uh, when when people are coming uh, starting out as uh, software engineers yeah. and you get frustrations in the company you're working for yeah. most people tend not to, to be to be less productive yeah true true, true. and at, at this point you know you have no bargain at all yeah, and, uh, yeah. this happened for me when for the, for the first company so- software dynamic limited uh, as soon as i lost morale mm. i stopped working for more, for most of the company project yeah. it's the, i have no bargain to go and ask for money yeah. since i've also not been productive enough Ah, see. So, and this were maybe human resource actually, especially yeah. if you're in tech, they don't yeah. understand this because yeah. in software engineering you're more innovating, more creating, more learning yeah. as you go. Yeah. And it does not really allow you to be demotivated. Be demotivated at any point. Yeah. yeah. Also you want to build things that other people maybe will use and and find usefulness in it. Yeah. Um so you're not just a typical 8 to 5 kind of guy, guy right? 
Uh, I remember even then that's when the discussion of like, ah, I don't expect engineers to be coming at uh, eight. And, and there's still, I think most of the companies that have figured it out mm. is not one of the expectations. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's really important to know, to mention. So at Andela here, you're having a cafe, uh, cafe from the, you don't need to cafe daily yeah, in Kuinange Street. Yeah, I, uh, I, you're paid really well. Oh, Andela also, you're working for remote companies. Yeah, this company was, yeah. I still work for that company. Yeah. It's, Initially, it was called X2 AI. Yeah. Uh, building amazing uh, platforms for offering psychological healthcare. Yeah. Uh, I joined it through Andela. Yeah. Uh, worked for that company. Yeah. It was a greenfield project too. We yeah. were facing out an old PHP application. Yeah. So I was tasked with coming up with a new dashboard, uh, setting up pipelines, setting up pipelines really. Yeah. There was no designer. There's still no designer. All the design switch. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the person who has to think about how, how it's supposed to look. You mean UI UX? Yeah. yeah. So as part of, as much as I want to develop the dashboard, yeah. I I had to come with a visual representation of how yeah. it's going to look. Yeah. So fast forward, we did our MVP. People mm. loved it. Mm. They still react. Mm. GraphQL. Yeah. Uh, deployed on AWS. Yeah. Um, backend is still Flask and Python. Yeah. Graphene. Uh, Lots of machine learning. Yeah. Initially, we were using Rasa X yeah. for natural language understanding and then Liu. Yeah. Then uh, OpenAI was in beta, yeah. uh, quite by Microsoft. Yeah. Started training our models with their, with their plat- in their platform. Yeah. I'm surprised people are seeing chat GPT right now. Yeah. We've been using OpenAI for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, OpenAI has been here for a couple so, of times. And this one thing also um, I've been telling, that I'm still in the dev ecosystem, you know, as you yeah. know. Uh, is that in Africa, if you see um, like now AI, machine learning is big. Mm. Just know by the time you hear about things like ChatGPT, the technology itself has been there for more than 15 years. Yes. On the minimum side. Yes. So, and that's one of the things that actually excites me that I want to change those dynamics yeah. and reduce those years to like five, five and then eventually five. we are where the world is yeah. and you can be able to contribute fully. Yeah. Which actually means that if you are contributing, then we get even to do solution that actually serves yeah. our needs. Yeah, I, and I, I agree with you. Yeah, like uh, we are actually very late on uh, on tech stuff. Yeah, and especially important tech. Yeah, and when when, when we try to play catch up, mm. which is almost lost value. Yeah, because we we'll always be users. Yes, and playing catch up. Like before, even you build your own chat GPT, we have a million of them. Why would For you sure. build it? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, at X2, I won't talk about more, more on what you build there because I still work for the company, still confidential things I should say. Yeah. But at X2, I, I do so many things for the company. I do yeah. web, I do mobile, sometimes I do tech care backend. Yeah. I do the deployments by myself. Yeah. So there's no backend. I'm, I'm the infra. I'm You're the infra full guy. stack. I'm basically full stack for the company. Yeah. Um, something magical happened too. Mm-hmm. So at X2, we are working with the VP of engineering called Joy Trevino, mm. an old man, mm. 60 years old, yeah. 40 years experience, bro. <laughs> you ever seen somebody who's an engineer with 40 years experience? Yeah. Kaka, I told you I met most of those <laughs> yeah. guys. And, and it's one of the stories that I gave you back in yeah. 2017. 2017, yeah. Uh, yeah. When guys were like, you know, I made it. I'm doing Andela, I'm making it on a thousand dollars plus. Like, dude, there are people who have been doing this yeah. for over 50, 50 years. years. Since the internet started, since this, you know, they have right. done Pascal, Kobo, all these languages. At, now they are doing JavaScript. That guy has written literally everything which you can think of. He has yeah. even written, he has been an iOS engineer. Yeah. And he has been, still is coding. He, this guy was coding the backend. He, yeah. he was a backend engineer. Yeah. He's the one who came up with the idea of GraphQL, actually. Yeah. yeah. So we worked with GraphQL as GraphQL or? GraphQL itself. Uh, the, Is the, part of the maintainers or? He, he was working actually, uh, he was maintaining Python with the guys who are, who are, who are working on the Python project. Yeah, you said his name is? Joy Trevino. Okay. He's retired now. Okay, okay. Um, but in the team, he's the cha- he championed us to use GraphQL. Mm-hmm. Like being that old and you still have new technology in you yeah. and you know it's important, yeah. that's something. Yeah. So this guy championed for X2 to use GraphQL on the back end and the front end. Yeah. Um, but this guy was retiring. Mm. Yeah. And what was the reason behind it? It's performance fast. They mm. were moving from a monolith, mono, monolith PHP application. Mm. Uh, it was quite to cool. microservices? Yeah, microservices. And they, they, they wanted, they don't want to use REST. Okay. Uh, they wanted to use something which you can easily uh, scale. Uh, of course, GraphQL has always the N plus one problem, but he had figured out a way of yeah. solving all yeah. that. 
like you you he had a technical document yeah. on why we need graphic yeah and it we pitched it to the ceo yeah. he pitched to us as we are just new hires to the company mm-hmm. we agreed and we started building this stuff mm. in 2020 was supposed to retire in 2020 december mm. we were still working through 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 uh, andela mm. uh this guy it one day it was you no know, abel we like the working with you mm. and as i'm retiring mm. i would want you to join the company full time mm. mm. Now that is not easy. And that's when Andel actually was transitioning yeah, to transition, some yeah, fully remote yeah. no office. No office, like, yeah. Laying off like lay, 90%. Lay off, yeah. Yeah. And they're also moving from full-time engineering to yeah. contracting engineering. Yeah. So this guy tells me, you know what Abel, I'll talk to Andela. Mm. Let's see if you can buy you off. Mm. Andela. Mm. That comes with, the, with a lot of money. Kaka when you say that it's really hurtful because Andela was a good vision. Yeah. And when it reached a point where engineers could be bought off, yeah, you know, it sounds like slavery. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when most people realize that what they are being paid looked yeah. good. Yeah, but but what Andela is being paid, it's a lot of money. it's a lot of money. So, but that's a story for another. Yeah. I hope to sit down with yeah. the founder of Andela. I would share my thoughts and in, in, with love. Uh, yeah. Jer- Jeremy is usually most time in Kenya. Yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah. see, I, I'm still. Still working for Andela. Yeah. Tell you that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so this this buying off comes with a lot of money. Mm. Whatever they're going to pay you at the end of the the year, mm. cumulatively, mm. they're supposed to give Andela 50% of that. Yeah. For this to be complete. Okay. So I I need to sit down and figure out. So if Andela was paying me three thousand dollars, how much were they taking? Do the balance. Look at how much I can gain from this deal. Mm. Because you have to gain something. Yeah. Uh, you have to cover this stuff. Of yeah. course, the managers and people can't tell you. Yeah. It's confidential information. Yeah. But then I'd look at Glassdoor and see how React engineers are being paid. Mm. So I told this guy, you know what? I'd be comfortable with this annual, annual figure. Mm. He did not discuss it. He told mm. me, that that would make you happy. Mm. Let me go and talk to the CEO. Mm. So he went to the CEO, talked to the CEO. The CEO said that they, that they don't have a lot of money to, to make that purchase. Mm. This guy said, told the CEO mm. don't pay me for the next four months mm. let let's hire mm. uh, hire mm. Mm. he sacrificed his own salary yeah for four months yeah. to make sure that I got to X2 as a full time engineer yeah and that's how I exited Candela oh. join K- X2. X2 which yeah. is now branded to Cas Air yeah yeah I found that to be selfless yeah. and I've always wanted to give back to people like that yeah. when you see me doing mentorship all over you yeah. see me holding people hands yeah. I'm trying to be as selfless as that man. Yeah. It's not easy for you to to give up your four month salary as a 40 year old man. Experienced. Yes. Not the old. Experience. <laughs> VP of engineering yeah. to make sure that yeah. an upcoming software engineer yeah. gets what supposed to what's supposed to be their pay. Yeah. So and that's how you got in there. That's how I got into yeah. working for CAS. Yeah. As a full-time engineer, mm. contracts as a full-stack engineer, full-stack, uh, full-time engineer, contracts mm. were drafted. Yeah, I have an office at my house. That is the office for a, a, a very AI. nice office. That's what we are getting to, yeah. by the way. That's that's the office for Casey in Kenya. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> did they send all everything? Everything uh, they have done, all the paperwork for me. So yeah. no, I mean for the office. The no, 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 no. That's that, personal. That's office. personal. They only send a laptop, okay. uh, which I don't use anymore. I bought mm, a new one. Like I want to upgrade. <laughs> oh, but you know the Intel laptops, the yeah. MacBook, yeah, Intel sure, Mac, sure. they're, they're not really that. Not really the and then you know, with all the things which are, I'm working as, a, I do mo- develop mobile apps for the company. Yeah. I, I'll be running emulators and whatnot. I need a powerful. Laptop. So I just True. bought it for myself. Yeah. Uh, I give it to myself as, mm. uh, as a hardworking person. Mm. Mm. So I just bought it to keep me motivated. So um Abel I know you've been active in the community um <laughs> since you graduated. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that has helped you a great deal in the growth? Bro as as, as you have heard I have no rich uncle connecting me to jobs. Yeah. There are people who are work together from the them. community. From the community. Like the guy who, who recommended me for But with the for, POS I sounded like you know Oh, that, that's my mom they are friends <laughs> but that, that that was a side gig to keep me afloat okay but uh, like the guy who, go, who got me to the mook job mm. he is part of the python community mm. we met we met there yeah the guy who had me for the andela job yeah he's called uh, meko gasha yeah. he's quite vocal uh, in the andela spaces mm-hmm. um uh, and also got in the gig from mumo mm. it came from you mm. I, knowing you i yeah. got to know mumo yeah the community i would say i've been built by the community yeah. uh, there is no day i'd say that 
I've been standing on my own. Yeah. Of course, I do get side gigs here and there. Most mm. of them are coming from people I know, people mm. who are attracting the community. I've also helped people do their interviews and get jobs, mm. helping each other. Yeah. Even recommend them for yeah. for yeah. I see them uh, tweeting about yeah. that. But would you say what would you tell a person who is going to the class, uh, you know, cramming the presentations, trying to get an A in those units? And they are saying, you know what? I'll join the community when I graduate. No, no, no. They should be joining community as soon as yesterday. Yeah. Uh, communities, a community is full of people with different skills yeah. and and opportunities, and opportunities, and diverse, diverse yeah. ideas and opinions. Yeah. If if today I was a student, yeah. I would be joining these Google programs. I would be joining the Atlassian outreaches when they go out. I would be joining a T hackathons. Mm. This way you get to learn what's important in the market. Mm. I, you, 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 practically. You, practically. You don't yeah. need to be sitting in your small uh, studio house uh, uh, in Meru University or in your own or mm. JQuart, mm. cramming C-sharp. Yet nobody is hiring for C-sharp actively. Yeah. But they are hiring for Ruby on Rails engineer, Elixir engineer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people are hiring for senior front end engineers like yeah. at the data center yeah. but you are only focused on just one thing in yeah. your small house yeah. i think you'd step out yeah. uh, meet with people in the community real, real developers and talk to people yeah. Yeah. developers tend to be introverted or they tend to shy off yeah. you see people think that i'm a god or um somebody will beat you if you came <laughs> if you came to approach me yeah we are all human beings and yeah. if you came to me and you asked me abel how how did you start yeah what different what what's that that's that something which i can do different to be like make the, my journey shorter than yours yeah. you see these yeah. are tips i can only give you if you are talking together yes otherwise we'll still have to go through the lap which i've gone through it's not a beautiful one as you have had yeah but i can give you tips you you, you don't need to keep to on go through the same yeah. journey that you did yeah. It yeah. Will make it shorter for you yeah. and quite be intuitive yeah. so uh don't uh, some, somebody said don't be a bedroom, bedroom engineer come yeah. out talk to people show what what you have been building yeah. see what people have been building yeah. it's going to build you a lot yeah and build things and yeah. break them break as them you go repeat. because that's engineering anyway. that's engineering anyway yeah. i find people right now to students right now to be quite reserved mm. the number of times i've broken my os installations in my small laptop is a million times mm. trying to know how to do a dual boot mm. try to know what kind linux is mm. you find a kid Just got a laptop, put on their windows, and they are happy. They don't want to explore mm. what Ubuntu is. They mm. don't want to know how to do like Linux commands. They don't mm. want to do uh, to know what kind of Linux is. What is mm. Bashar? What is all these interesting things which you learn by breaking? Mm. They are afraid that they will break the laptop. Mm. You break, learn how to fix, and live on. Yes. But people are quite reserved right now, which is yeah. not a good thing. And we can come out of that situation yeah. by just being explore a little bit, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. break something. Yeah. What's the worst which can happen? I've yeah. done it. You have yeah. done it. People yeah. have done it. Yeah. And we have come out of those stations yeah. and still growing. So yeah. I also challenge my sister to be like that. Like whenever she calls me, you know what? I want to install an OS. I tell her, go Please. Google and install. Yeah. When you break what it. What is the worst? What is the worst can happen? <laughs> I can help you recover it. Go and try first. Yeah. Go and try. Yeah. You learn a lot. And in addition, they should not forget that uh, 20-year-old teenagers are building frameworks that we oh, are using. Bro. And these are the same same guys you'll be applying the same job maybe at Google maybe at you know Africa stocking <laughs> who are motivated yeah. when they are young yeah yeah I I, I want to mention the company yeah. but there is a company I've worked for mm. and, uh, we had somebody who was good who's 19 years old mm. he started writing the act when they were 16 years old mm. bro what, mm. what what are you telling me yeah. this guy is already a senior engineer yeah. Yeah. already a senior front end engineer by 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 next year you should be applying for senior roles yeah. is barely 21 yeah yeah so if you're sitting at home saying be 25 and then start building yeah. on this yeah this is no longer like when i used to tell you uh, in uk there are guys who have a full fledged companies software companies building mobile apps and yeah. selling them no this is happening here, here, here in, in africa in africa like people are doing the most yes and in nairobi it's even worse <laughs> it's ah. it's was and this one now I'll ask you what do you have to say about tech bros i see this uh, now and then mm. ah. <laughs> you are tech bro ah. so i know <laughs> the notion of a tech bro right now has been blown out of proportion yeah because because people are obsessed with money money discussions mm. and that's a that, that's not a tech bro mm. that's not not entirely what defines a tech bro yeah um There's a lot of discussion in the Kenyan tech space mm-hmm. about money, mm. which is not the best discussion not, to have. Not the best thing to have. Bro, if I'm making uh, a million a month, you have heard my story. Mm. I, there was a day I was not making a, a, 
Uh, Bob. Yes. You you cannot easily say that all developers make a million a month. True. Or they don't make. Or they don't make at yeah, all at yeah. all. Is this your story? This is just my story. Yeah. It stands out like that. Yeah. When 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 I I I hear people saying that I want to be like Habel, I want to make money like Habel. Mm. First, I'm not making lots of money. Mm. I, I'm just happy. I'm content mm. with the money. And if you're in it for the money, then yeah, please. Bro. There is so many if, other things that you could do. I told somebody, mm. if money is the only motivation you have in life, mm. you will be very poor. Mm. There, 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 there is so much to take yeah. uh, than just the money. Yeah. Um. Uh. There's a company I've consulted for. Mm. They have not been paying me a lot of money. Yeah. But the work is meaningful. Yes. Have you ever looked forward to the next day? You, you which you're gonna work like yeah, yeah. walk to this office and yeah. start working. Yeah. That that it's on it it it's on motivation yeah. factor for me. Yeah. I would pick that environment, the good vibe over anything. Have, over anything. Yeah. I know these people are gonna always support me. The work which you do has got. Still you have is people can see this thing. Yeah. The company is making money. Yeah. And if there is any other day they want to give anybody a pay rise, that's mm. gonna be me. Yes. So the mo- money is not the motivation. Yeah. The motivation is the work and the meaningfulness of this building work. solutions. Being so- solve solutions, solve problems. Yeah. Let people live happily yeah. from what you have, what you have done, what yeah. you have innovated. And if they want to redu- reward you, I will. Don't let it take away from the work. That is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm. Take it and keep on innovating. Yeah, it's true because you might think that maybe being paid twenty thousand US dollars is a big it's deal, a, but if there's someone who is making two hundred thousand dollars. Power, power, and they, they, and it's not a big deal for them. They feel like they, they should be making more. Yeah, so you, it's like chasing your tail. You'll yeah. never get it. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no point. You'll say this is it. The problem with money. Yeah, I, I found money to to not give you 100% satisfaction. Life. Yes, yes. It will give you good things, mm. but it's not gonna give you 100% satisfaction mm. life. But other things. But by will, the way, let's let's correct yeah. this notion. We're not yeah. saying money is no, bad, guys. Is bad. Yeah. Uh, we are not saying, but it should not be the main. It's not be the main driving yeah, factor. Yeah, yeah. Like you should, you should not be living for the money. Mm. You should be living for any other thing. Yeah. There are many four things mm. to do in life, and money aids aids in, mm. but should not be your. Yeah, it your, should be a means to an end. Yeah.